UGD coming at you on how to do some sight loving. Yeah, guys, sight loving. I do this on about every pistol I get that the front sight is either white or black or a color I just don't like. And I wanted to give you the process on this. Yeah, there's a two-step process to this. A lot of guys will put a little fingernail polish on there and call it good. No, no, no. That is absolutely the wrong way to do it. So the first thing you need, bam, right here. You got to get the Krylon. The, the, the shortcuts, this stuff is the glow orange, and it is super duper bright. The next thing you need is the secret sauce right there. Yeah, that is clear fingernail polish, guys. It adds a glossy sheeniness to it and protects the paint. So... What I have to do first is I've got to take some non-acetone cleaner. Yeah, you got to have some cleaner on there. Fingernail polish remover. Get that front sight. Make sure there's no oily oily on that thing whatsoever. Now, there's going to be breaks in this video as we wait on the different steps to dry. So I get that good and clean right there. Make sure I get all the little bits and pieces out of there from my paper towel. Next thing I need is my toothpick. Bam. Yeah, that's all you need for a paintbrush, guys. Open that bad boy up after you give it a good shake. Load that baby up. Now, what I'm shooting for is about three quarters of the way down the site. I just start dabbing. Yeah, dabbing and filling, dabbing and filling. And take my time to make sure I get that site, the ridges in the site filled up with this paint. Guys, this is a real easy process and it just makes the site so much brighter when you're hunting for it. Bear with me. It's going to take me a little bit because I'm putting a lot of paint on there. You can see it's kind of building up and getting a little bumpy on there. Yeah, that's what you're looking for right there, guys. Oh, that loving's coming in nicely. Yeah, I'll drink that in. I go all the way to the top ridge, fill it in. And if you notice, I've got some gaps here. I'm going to go ahead and get some more in there. Yeah, I'm going to get some more in there and just keep loading this baby up because it is real easy to remove from metal if you go over a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's just not enough on there. It is just sucking this up. This Model 10 Smith, oh, this is just one of my favorite guns. This is the second one we've done. They just are so well built. $18.99. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, so that's about the first step right there, guys. I'll probably touch it up just a little bit off camera. But now we've got to let this completely dry. Yeah, we've got to let it completely dry. I'm talking about an hour, guys. I don't mess around because, again, I've really clumped this up. Oop, that's a little bit clumpy right there. And it's going to take, yeah, a good hour to dry. So we'll come back and we'll do step number two. All right, now we're ready for step number two. This is where we add the secret sauce right there, guys. Hey, while the hour was going by, bam, yeah, I took that old leather pouch, the, the speed loader pouch, and put a Galco paddle on it. That is because I have way too much free time during this pandemic. So guys, this is a secret sauce right here. It is clear fingernail polish. Now this one's got some kind of stuff in it, some kind of sheeniness. I don't know how to describe it. I took the label off, couldn't tell you the brand. So if you look how dull that is, and this right here, this is brush application. That's right, guys, brush application. And I make sure it's good and loaded, and I get in there. I just go right below where I started. I want to make sure I'm below... And I'm acting act like that's a seal. Yeah, that's going to seal that site up and make it a little gooder for as far as durability. That's right, guys. Oh, there's a little spot right there. That's kind of an interesting note. If you notice right here, I've got a little bit coming up. I'm just going to kind of rub the side and see. I got that off there. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to load it up with a second coat. That's right, guys. Uh, this right here will probably make your gun shoot to the left, if not the right. So try to follow the directions get out to the range and there you guys go yeah that's all i gotta do another hour to let that dry i'll do a side-by-side -side photos on it guys hey if you like the video i need subscribers share this video subscribe do whatever it takes to make me the biggest thing on youtube